Welcome to our next movie about beautiful Antalya. Today, we will take you on a trip to Capes, a district that we described to you already before in our previous videos. This trip, as usual will be full of spectacular, panoramic views, interesting parks, Ottoman-style buildings, and open-air shopping mall architecture. Also, we will take a small part in Science Festival, which was organized for a few days in Dokuma Park. Conferences, science and animation shows, motorized paragliding and fixed balloon flight show, aircrafts, planetarium, and many other activities was held there. At the end of the movie there will be more surprises, and special meals in one of the best restaurants in Antalya, located exactly in Capes. Let's get started. Capes is located in north of Antalya, and it belongs to New Settlement Area, one of the fastest in growth. To będzie skręt jaki ostry. Sharp left onto 6100. Sikak. I to już tu. My tu mamy jechać do góry. I teraz nie wiem. Tu. Tu, w prawo. A. Capes is considered the lungs of Antalya, as the greenest part of the city it has abundance of parks, green areas, olive trees fields, forests and Antalya's largest farms. Mazy Day Observation Terrace is located on Thuja Mountain. This place is located on the hill, which is considered as the coolest place in Antalya. This mountain is very popular in summer months to escape the heat, as well as in winter months to touch and play with snow. This terrace park has many social, cultural and sport areas. To ja dopiero jak przekwitnie. This beautiful meeting park has many cafes, picnic and seating areas. To jest jeden dom taki. Kształcie litery C. My też w Gdańsku na górce mieszkamy. I jak się uprzemy, to zobaczymy może. Będziesz czekać? Nie. Aż może zobaczysz. The magnificent view is breathtaking both day and night time. The municipality has opened new roads for transportation to the hill. Even driving downhill, you can watch almost the whole Antalya from under your wheels. Orhangatsi District Mansion was built in Ottoman architecture style by taking inspiration from the historical houses in Antalya's Kalaichi. The mansion provides vocational and art courses, in addition to internet service and a library. It has a hall for 100 people, seminar rooms and a cafeteria. 
Now, we will go for shopping together to the first open-air shopping mall in Italia Urasta. It consists of 55 stores, international brands, and Turkish brands, such as Coton, LCY Kiki, De Facto, and many others. Very busy place with a lot of activities for kids. When we came, there were babies run or crawl competition going on. Our next attraction it is science festival organized in nearby Dokuma Park. It was a great event, full of motivation for young people, and increased their interest in technology. Local and national technology producing institutions, universities, and technokits has participated in the festival. Bilymphus took four days, was attended by approximately two million people, and the best project competition received their awards. The old Devrim car has been exhibited side by side with the new Tog car. The festival was very busy. Young people could look and tested the technologies of the future. They also could examine them and experience them. The festival was filled with many conferences, science, aircraft, motorized paragliding, fixed balloon flight, and flyboard shows. Animation and simulation shows was attracted by great interest. Visitors formed a long queue to visit science and technology track. There they could learn about renewable energy sources, magnetic field, states of matter, engines, robotics, 3D printers, artificial intelligence, and virtual reality applications. Visitors could also learn about Selfie Point, Brain Waves, U Off Ground Station, and Hologram Technologies. Great interest by visitors was given to the experience of observing the sky through telescope. Young people could learn new technologies used in natural disasters, like earthquakes and forest fires. <laughs> The science festival was filled with visitors of all ages. The workshops, scientific events, competitions and conferences were very colorful and inspiring by many.
The door to scientific knowledge has been opened, many has used the opportunity very well, and young talents has been recognized. Bilim Fest brought Techno Fest win to Antalya. Now we will take you to one of the best restaurants in Antalya, everything is great there, starting from delicious food, kind service, and end with of course good prices. Let us start with the meat first, because there's a lot of meat. And the first thing, Mm. A jak się ty mięso nazywa? Kebab. Zobacz, zobacz. Sandwich. Która to jest szalatka moja? Mm. Ona jest taka na słodko, ta sałatka. Mhm. Praises to Allah, who has given me this food, and sustained me with it, thought I was unable to do it, and powerless. In nearby shops you can buy many Arabic and Turkish food varieties. This area has also they own Saturday flea market. I guess this is the cheapest street market in the whole of Antalya. It is simple, and you can find here any second-hand product you are looking for. If you know the real market price you can bargain and get really good deals. Tech Cistern City Park will be our last attraction for today. The park was opened in 2018 and was named after the historical cistern inside. The park welcomes its visitors with giant fairy tales heroes, popular cartoon characters such as Shrek, Transformers, Spider Man, Batman, Iron Man, Kung Fu Panda, Pocahontas, and much more to be seen in the park. We hope that today's movie about Capaz district in Antalya gave you some ideas and was an inspiration to visit this green area full of spectacular views, unique shopping malls, lovely food dishes, while not forgetting to see the big effort put in the science, technologies and building new libraries. Thank you Capaz municipality for your care.